So my very first, let's just cut the video to the here because that was, so my very first time riding a motorcycle, I was going down a road that started to curve like this and this is what happened. And then my very first time riding back so many years ago, as the road started to curve, I actually like just started, and I didn't know what to do and I kind of stopped because what I was doing was I was trying to turn the bike to the left, but in actuality that was making it go more to the right towards the curb. And I was like, uh, and I, luckily I was going slow enough that I just stopped. You actually see a lot of videos of that. People riding a bike for the first time and they crash and it's like the road starts to curve and they don't know how to turn it. Uh, that only pretty much happens your very first corner, your very first time on a motorcycle. And then for the next corner, idly enough, you just somehow do it right. And the reason is because your brain subconsciously figures out what it did wrong the first time without you realizing it. It's very interesting scientifically. Uh, what happened is like on that first corner, I wanted to go left, so I turned left and nothing happened. So right now I wanna, so here I wanna turn left, but, le but we need to turn right. So I'm gonna pull on this, one finger, pull, and then the bike turns left, see? Turn the handlebar to the right, the bike goes left. And that is the same for any two-wheeled vehicle, including bicycles, uh, dirt bikes. I get so many emails from people saying to me, I saw your counter-steering video, but I've been riding for five years on blah, blah, blah kind of bike, and I don't counter-steer. Uh, I ride a bicycle, and I tried it. It didn't work. <laughs> it's physically impossible to turn a bicycle or a motorcycle or anything without turning the opposite way. So we don't need to get into the scientificness of it. <laughs> Is that a word? Scientificness? Uh, the physics of it? There you go. Uh, but it just... And let me, let me be clear about one thing. You don't need to know this. You don't need to know what I'm explaining t t to ride. You don't even need to know this to ride well. Uh, I've met guys, old guys. Oh, there's like a bull or something. It's a water ox. Water oxen. Water ox. Uh... You don't even need to know this to ride well. Uh, but wherever your level is at riding, you'll ride a, a better if you do know this, okay? Like you could be a pro rider and not know this. But if you do know this, you would improve a little. Uh, and the reason for that is because there's a difference between doing something, I'm just happy, I'm just clapping. Now there was mosquitoes. Uh, the, there's a difference between doing something subconsciously and doing something consciously. Once you become consciously aware of what you're doing, you just get that much better at it. And the way it works is um, anything under 15 kilometers an hour, you would just turn the way you want to go. Because you're going so slowly, the bike just, like if I'm just putting along like this and I turn to the left, see, I'm turning to the left, you can see the handlebar almost touching the tank and we're going to the left, we're doing a little circle. Okay, but as soon as my speed gets just like, and now we're doing like 25-ish, oh, and now I'm gonna pull on this right handlebar. Watch what happens, you can use the yellow line. I'm gonna pull, and we go to the left. I'm pulling, so that's turning the handlebar to the right, but we were going to the left. And now I'm going, turning to the right, and we're going to the right, because why? Because we're doing under 15 kilometers an hour. Over 15 kilometers an hour, the bike's gonna go an opposite way that, as to which you turn. Is that English? Here we go again, pulling to the right. Look at the bike, woo! <laughs> I got pretty low there. Also, there's two water oxes and a dog. This is like, it's like, we're, it's like we're at the zoo! So yeah, that's how it works. Don't ask, it's, it, you know, there's, there's physics behind it and this and that. It's, it's, it's all unimportant and like, I, oh, I, was, I was starting to explain earlier. I, I know a guy, who, an old guy. Uh, why do I recommend, like, because I've had a lot of people watch my videos, my previous videos of counter steering, and then they write back to me and they say, wow, I went out, experimented with, with it a bit, and then once I got the hang of it, I, my bike became like twice as agile as, as before, you know, and, and, and I had so much fun and I was able to like, zoom around because once you become consciously aware of pulling and pushing and tugging and licking and, and fiddling and diddling um, then you can more you have more control over how much of a lean angle you have and what direction and and, and uh, at what time <laughs> did I explain that
So like, what I can do is, for example, I'm, this is a straight road, and I'm gonna try to keep my bike in focus here, so you can see. I can just like, you know, I can, I can, I can get my bike. I can pretty much lean my bike all the way down so my foot's rubbing against the pavement while going down a straight road because I know I pull to the right, the bike's gonna drop to the left. And I know how much to pull, and the best way to f the, to experiment with counter steering if you're new to it are new to the concept of it because even if you're if you've already been riding you're not new to it you've already been doing it you're just not consciously aware uh, if you're new to the concept of counter steering find a straight road you don't got to go fast just do 30 20, i'm doing 25 right now and then just find out what happens when you pull oh the bike drops to the left okay just 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 and i often say i've had people tell me like oh yeah i've tried it i was doing 30 i turned to the right the bike went right oh god physically impossible uh, so I tell people wh what they're probably doing is they're using two hands and then they're trying to turn to the right But but one like they're consciously pulling the right hand to the right But their left hand is saying no that's gonna make you go the wrong direction So it's pulling the other and then they're like So you have to take one hand off You don't have to take it fully off just just ho hover it hover it. Did I say it right? Usually I say hoover just hover it above the left and then with this hand kind of just consciously pull to the right And then the bike see I'm going left. I'm pulling I'm pulling I'm pulling Even though I'm just pulling on this one handle, the bike's going to the left. So you know, okay, yeah, he's right. Counter string does work. If you're pulling with one hand, if you're pulling the right handlebar with one hand, there's no way you're going to go right as long as you're moving quick, quicker than 15 kilometers an hour. And I'm, uh, why are you running away from me, baby? Is my bike too loud? Well, now I'm in front of you, so you should run the opposite direction, right? Are you running towards the bulls? Is that a smart move? Is that a smart move? I don't think so. Are you protecting them? Are you going to them for protection? Is that your logic? Yeah. Hi guys. Oh, that's nice. Is that for me? Yeah? Is that what you think of me? Well, you and 90% of girls have the same opinion, unfortunately. Got a little bit more. Little, little, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. When you reach my age, your anus will stay open even when you're finished for like another two minutes. And you just walk around with your anus like this, and it's like you're just waiting for it to close. It's like one of those electric doors that open and shut. And then like the engine's dying and this is like you want it to shut, but it's just like 